Hey dudes, so Wet Soltis here, and I'm back with another lesson of Dungeon Sets 101, my series that goes over where and how to acquire each class's dungeon set in World of Warcraft Classic. With seven covered thus far, there's only two classes' armors to talk about, shamans and warlocks. So let's get right into the first of those two, shall we? Today we're going to explore the shaman's dungeon set. So, channel the power of the elements so that we can find the elements. Just like all the dungeon sets, the elements contains eight set pieces. The helm, shoulders, chest, bracers, gloves, belt, legs, and boots. Unfortunately, the pieces are all spread throughout four max level dungeons, Stratholme, Skullaments, LBRS, and UBRS. But don't worry, you'll probably run these dungeons a lot at endgame anyway, especially as Horde. Here's a brief summary of where you can find the elements of the elements. Alright, now that we know where they are, let's discuss how to get them. To get started, let's take a dive into Blackrock Spire, specifically Lower Blackrock Spire. There are two pieces of the element set that you could potentially get here, the cord and the boots. And since Horde players need to run this dungeon for the Anixia attunement anyway, it's a great place to start. To get started, the belt drops from trash mobs throughout the dungeon, so just keep an eye out for them as you clear the place. The boots, just like all the set boots, drop from a boss though, in this case Highlord Omok. As a shaman, you'll likely be healing this dungeon, so there's really not much to say about this fight other than to make sure your tank doesn't die or get punted off of a cliff somehow. If you're lucky, you'll snag your belt and boots pretty quickly. Since Omok is the only boss in here with a set piece, you could consider finding or setting up groups to specifically farm him. If you don't get lucky during any full clears you might do for attunements or other quests, that is. Look for people aiming for the Sky Shroud leggings and or the ranged weapons from Shadowhunter Vashka Jin in order to avoid the hassle of doing a full run. After all, Wormthalak doesn't really drop all that many good things. Next up is Upper Blackrock Spire. If you worked hard in LBRS and somehow got yourself a Seal of Ascension, you'll likely have no trouble finding groups for this place. There are a whopping four set pieces that you can obtain here. The Cord, Gauntlets, Pauldrons, and Vest. Luckily, all of these items are from unavoidable bosses, and the belt is, again, a trash drop. So you've got a good shot of getting something every time you run this place. So, starting with the gloves, since the belt is a trash drop here too, you'll want to kill Pyroguard Emberseer in the second main room of the dungeon. The challenge from this boss comes from killing all eight warlocks before the boss is released. Otherwise, it's an easy kill, so just pray for your gloves. Again, these are BOE, so if you don't get them, you can buy them from the auction house. Continue through the dungeon until you get to Ren's Arena event. Here, you can aim for the shoulders from the Warchief's dragon mount, Gaith. As a shaman, and as a healer in particular, you'll want to make sure to conserve your mana and be ready to drink as soon as the last mob falls in each wave of the event. For Gaith, make sure that you're not standing in front of him, as to avoid the breath ability, and be mindful of his HP, so that you can be ready when Ren gets knocked off. Finish off both bosses, loot the dragon, and hopefully you can get those crazy lightning rods for your shoulders. Progress through the latter half of the dungeon until the final boss, General Dracosath. As I've said many times before, this boss drops all the dungeon set chests, including the Vest of Elements. Furthermore, this boss is pretty straightforward for every class 
other than hunters. So just keep people alive as you down the two ads, then the boss himself. And as always, be mindful of the conflagration on the tank. Collect your chest, if you're lucky, and continue on your journey. After clearing out the spire, head over to Strathalm Undead for a shot at two items, the bindings and the kilt. As usual, the bracers drop off the trash mobs here, so keep an eye out for them as you clear to the final boss, Baron Rivendare. The Baron drops the kilt of elements, as well as all of the set legs. As a shaman, you'll basically want to stand as far away as possible, unless you're running enhancement of course, and keep the tank alive. If your group is melee heavy for some reason, Chain Heal and Healing Stream Totem will be valuable assets in countering the pulsing AoE aura put out by the boss. When skeletons spawn, consider dropping an Earthbind Totem to slow them down as you move away from them, as well as using some Stratham Holy Water to help burn them down quickly. Kill the boss, grab his kilt, and move on to your final destination. Last but not least is Skullaments. Only one piece of the element set drops in this school of necromancy, the coif from Darkmaster Gandling at the end. So clear the dungeon out as needed until you reach him. While you grind this dungeon out, make sure that you complete the quests associated with it, since it's unlikely you'll get the helm from the first run anyway. Anyway, when you reach Darkmaster Gandling, there's a few things to remember. As a shaman, you can interrupt his arcane missiles ability, which will greatly reduce the damage your tank takes. As always, be mindful of the teleport, and be ready to use your totems to slow and kill the skeletons if you're the one that gets ported. If possible, keep a shield handy in case you lose your tank and the Dark Master decides to smack you around for a bit instead. This fight is long, but luckily a shaman has plenty of ways to help bring this evil teacher down. Collect your funny wolf mask, equip it, and go show off your completed dungeon set in front of the Orgrimmar bank. Thanks for watching this guide, and good luck in your quest to acquire the full element set. It's a set that I personally think looks extremely badass. Minus the helm, of course. And it's one that I would definitely pursue if I were playing a shaman. As always, remember that if you somehow end up collecting all five bind on pickup items without snagging the belt, bracers, or gloves, you can pick them up from the auction house. And usually it's pretty cheap. But anyway, that's it for today. If you liked this guide or found it useful, let me know by leaving a comment down below. Also, I have this guide in written form over on Blogspot, along with many other guides, so feel free to check that out whenever you have time and would rather read it than listen. Follow me on Facebook and Twitter for updates about streaming, content releases, and more, and remember to subscribe so that you get updates when I post new videos here. Finally, consider supporting me over on Patreon as well, if you're into that sort of thing. Thanks again for watching, and as always, take it easy guys.